Stu and Ron here. We're um, doing a second part on that last video I put up on the baby sluice. We're actually going to test it with some dirt that we got from our last trip and some gold of course. So this is gold that we, I got from our last trip, 1.9 grams. A few nice little pickers in there. Um, 0.21 and 0.19 the biggest ones. So what we've done, because there wasn't enough water on the last trip to actually test the sluice up there, we've uh, I've come around to Ron's place and we've set up the power sluice with a couple of uh, 1100 GPH pumps, and we've put the baby sluice in the sluice itself. So that's our setup. It's not 100% ideal, and you'll see that when we turn the water on, but. We put a couple of scoops of just dirt gravel through it. Seems to be working okay, not 100%, but it should do the job. So we'll turn the water on and we'll see what happens. So there's the setup with the water running. Just up here, just got the headboard up there. And a scoop of the dirt in. And underneath there, there's a, under there is just a uh, one centimetre wide slot about that long. Not yet. So you see it's got a nice V happening, but there's a bit of a standing wave over that um, clamping bar, which is creating a, a low pressure on just behind that first black ripple. So that mat in there is razorback, and then we've just got some V matting to tail it off. So the next step is to tip that into the dirt. We don't want that in there. Tip the gold in the dirt. Goodbye. Good Goodbye. 1.9 grams. Never to be seen again. Give it a good mix. And that should be nicely mixed. Put that in. Now being a baby sluice, a lot of small sluice, it's not going to have the capacity of a, a big sluice, so slow and steady is the trick. Again, not 100% happy with its setup, but that's the best we can get with this situation. How many degrees was this? Uh, I think the pitch was about uh, 11, 10 to 11 degrees. Can't see anything yet. No, it just looks like a rock. Actually, I think I can see. I just saw a bit right at the start of. Yep. There's, one there's, right at the, there's some gold right at the start of that <laughs> strip. Strip. As a matter of fact, there's that's quite where a, it all is. There's quite a bit there. And it's still there. Now I'll be surprised if all this in that uh, pan there was quite a bit of um, micro flour mustard gold, probably minus 600. I'll be surprised if that stays in this. Oh, there's a big chunk here. Yeah, you can see just in front of that, right where that standing wave at the end of the V, there's some gold, probably the bigger pieces that are hanging up in there. And they're staying there too. Mm. Yeah, a couple of bits trying to get over the top now. Don't know. Water's starting to murk up a little bit. There. That will be a bit harder to see now. Further. 
gives them the first rip or something. Pretty to watch there, though. Oh, yeah, you can see it there. Concentrated in on one spot. And it's not moving from there either, so. Yeah, it's just if it's, dancing around. If now, it's, whether you put it on this side or this side, the, uh, the V takes it straight there. Alright, so all the buckets done. If you zoom in, you can see there's gold at the start of that gold hold down plate. There's gold down here on the bottom in the one, two, three ripples there. There's a piece of gold. You think there. it's a piece of gold there, yeah. No, that's a piece of gold. But can't see what's in those ripples. Uh, there's a piece of gold in there. So if you want to turn the battery off or on. I'll turn the battery off. Let's see what we can see. Oh, there we go. Uh, there's all that gold there. Gold in these riffles here, here, here. Down in there. There's gold. There's gold. That's definitely a piece there. Yeah, there. In there. So the question is how this much one. is in the sluice? How much is in the tailings? And no doubt some of that ultra fine may have uh, floated off. And we might have to do some crevicing in Ron's driveway. <laughs> Chase it down the street. All right, we'll get to panning. So the sluice has been washed out into the bucket. Now pan it off. You can see the gold in there. This is out of the sluice, and that's shouldn't take much to settle all that to the bottom. Like there's a fair bit there. Need another pan to pan that into. There's one just there. I've got a small one if you want to. It could even be a black one. Well, I'm panning into a, like into a, I'm panning into another basin, so that should be alright. Black one. The flower stuff is starting, starting, yeah. starting to head down. Yeah. But there's uh, that's what came out of the sluice. It's caught all the heavier gold, which is probably the good thing that you're most worried about. Thing is, now we'll do a, a thorough clean up of that to get the rest of those bits and pieces out. That way. It's raining again. No, it's your imagination. Just wash all the heavies out. Get them in back up there. 
wash out the non-gold heavies. Couple of really round pieces that just roll down the slightest opportunity. Like that. <laughs> I did snuff that up, and it's probably the easiest way to get it out. In the bottle. Magic sound. There's a lot of room in it. Wet feet, mate. Good thing we're in pools, sandals. You've got um, your poolies, buddy. Footwear on. Uh, American American safety boots. <laughs> <laughs> Seem to be the rage, everyone's got them. Do you know? Finish it off with one go. Okay, so I've panned that off. I spared you the uh, monotony of that. There is a little bit in the tailings. Very, very fine. Right here. I don't know if that's focusing. But from there, super, super, super fine. But you can expect that no sluice is 100% efficient and the smaller the sluice the less efficient they are so the next step is to dry out what's in the snuffer bottle and see what that weighs this is dried out gold from the sluice you can see there's still quite a lot of very fine gold in there and of course the uh, bigger heavier stuff which you'd expect anyway So overall not bad, again it wasn't perfect setup but for a tiny little sluice like that I think it's doing a good job.